On this episode of Weekend Shed Ed, Fancy Man Cave Art, Vintage Toys, Food, Who Remembers This, and a Super Bazooka. Hello Sheddies, and you join me outside Armstrong's Mill in Ilkeston. Now Ilkeston is just between Nottingham and Derby. It's got a antiques department. I think it's on the third floor. There's also a cafe in there, so I'm going to get some breakfast first. Let's go and have a look. So a few of us went, including the grandkids. And here it is, Armstrong Antiques in the Armstrong Mill building. There's the calf and there's my breakfast. An interesting fact, uh, Ilkeston has got the Europe's oldest fair. I think it was back from 1252. And it comes back once a year and it's situated in their marketplace. Breakfast new newspapers. Oh, yeah. So there's all sorts here vintage, antiques, just generally old stuff. Perfect if you're a collector or if you want to put it in your man cave or the home. There's something for everyone here. And the staff are really friendly and helpful. And the place is vast. There's, this is one hall. This boat fin nice boat and there's three halls all together I've skipped a lot out of course I've mainly sort of concentrated on the things I liked I filmed everything it'll go on for hours and I could spend days there as I'm sure a lot of you could as well the atmosphere was fantastic when you're walking around as well these uh, wooden floors they even creak as you're walking around yeah loved it So this place is set up, you've probably seen the same wherever you are, where uh, they rent out space. Uh, so someone comes along with all their gear, set it all up, they put their particular price and their code for their stall on there, and then when it's paid for it goes back to the stall holder. I think that's the best way of describing it. There's probably a name for that, I don't know what it is. There, yeah, I saw that same poster in um, the Anchor Store, the video I did the other week. And a lot of these stalls have a particular theme going through them. Um, that last one, for example, was more military. This is sort of homeware, vintage homeware. I love JR. <laughs> Windbreaker there, did you see that? Have you got places like this near where you are? If you have, just pop in the comments below. Old sewing machine, I think this is. A bit of steampunk there. There's actually a stand further along, stall further along, that's got more of that sort of stuff. I'll come onto that in the, later in the video. <laughs> There's Finley, his grandson. <laughs> fuel pump of some sort yeah, yeah remember those badges on the front of cars and here's a tool stand hey had a bit of a rummage while I was here I thought to myself look do I really want to buy anything? I've got enough stuff at home already that needs sorting, so I didn't go mad. In fact, I bought one thing that I'll probably come on in a minute. <laughs> but it's just nice to walk around, have a breakfast and have a look around. Bedpans, made by Boots. What is that? Is that a lamp? Yeah, it looks like it. Old fuel can. player look at all these figures if you see anything here that I've missed 
or you want to talk about, just stick them in the comments below. Another AA, AA sign. I'm also going to continue to do these sort of videos um, when I'm going around antique shops or vintage stores like this. Um, I did one at the Anchor Surplus Store at the military place the other week as well. And uh, yeah, so subscribe. Um, I think there's going to be more coming along certainly in the next few months. And if you're new here, this channel is all about sheds, man caves, workshops, antiquities like this, DIY, and making stuff. Giving me a thumbs up also helps as well. <laughs> if you like the video, of course. You just look around the corner and there's just something completely different that blindsides you. You think, where does that come from? That's completely doesn't fit in sometimes. You may have seen the video I did actually on some greengrocer scales that I bought from here a while back. Put an LED light in them as well, look really effective. And as I say, you'll be hard pushed to not come back with anything. I mean, I could spend thousands here, <laughs> I think we all could, but we have to resist sometimes. Now, what is this? Some sort of uh, burner stove. Bookaroo! Football memorabilia. So that's one hole done, into the next hole. That's a rocket. Rocket launcher. Yeah. So I'm going to put that on it. Yeah, look. Uh, genuine US Vietnam War Super Bazooka. Is it? <laughs> hey, potato rusher. midway between one hall and the next hall. I think that super bazooka was about £1,700. So we are into the next hall. Great record collection. And this is what I bought. Top TV themes of the 1970s. I don't think I'll play it, I just want to display it. <laughs> Remember those? Well, they're from the 70s, I think, those bread bins. Daddy's sauce, I've just bought some uh, brown sauce made by Daddy's. <laughs> Get him up. What are they? Ring. A bow and a ring. Yeah. And that was Willow, my granddaughter. She's very creative, likes making things. Very artistic. Now who remembers these scales at the anchor store I went to last week? I think they're exactly the same. Centipede and then a cricket. A spider. Big spider. Old board games, don't they from the 70s. The old Bisto logo. Is it the same as that now?
Now this stall, uh, the guy was actually on it. Normally the stall holders aren't usually there, but he was there and just I'd asked him a few questions really about what sort of stuff it is. And it's more sort of man cave eclectic sort of design stuff he does there, a lot of upcycling. His name was Jeff. I've got his details actually will pop up in the video in a minute. Great stuff for man caves, of course. Old shoe laster there. Now that's interesting, a bicycle seat and handlebars to form the shape of like a um, bull's head, would you say, <laughs> or a skull of a bull. Yeah, this sort of paraphernalia looks great in man caves. Steampunk, that sort of thing. Is that a taxi, an old taxi meter or a bus meter made into a lamp? Michelin Man. Old stools. Love this picnic camper. Real vintage. This draftsman's table. That looked great. In a studio apartment, that looked fantastic. Old tractor seat for a stool. And that's his name, Jeff Thompson. Details are there. Pause the video if you want to contact him. Laundry basket there. <laughs> that's old. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it, now? We look at things and think, well, that's still new. It was only 10 minutes ago that we were using these items, but now, vintage now. School desk. Another school desk, but yeah, really unique in design. Coca Cola sign there. Nice model yacht in front of it. Grand Slam. Who remembers that? Anyone got triplets? <laughs> Some rocking horses. When I was younger, I used to be into Tamiya radio control cars in the 80s and did remake a lot of the 80s cars actually, but I wanted to find an original one. But what people say in the forums is the plastic gets brittle with age, so they become shelf queens. But I'm still on the lookout. If anyone knows of one, Tamiya boomerang is what I'm after. Who remembers high fives like this?
Did anyone know what that is? It was actually behind a barrier, so it had no labels on there. I don't know if they were for sale or not, but I think that's some sort of um, amplified light box of some sort. Mirror, concave mirror at the back. Old ironing board, is that? I presume so. And these industrial lamps, I love the look of those. I think they were for the building actually, because there's some above painted blue. Look at these, fridge and a freezer. Just wow, look at the colours, just the colours alone. I just think they get cream, a light blue, like a baby blue and a red, and a slight bit of white. Amazing. They're super cool. Match cards, pound each. Southern Comfort, one of my favourite drinks. I was going to see what the price was actually, and then I got distracted on something else, <laughs> which happens, and then I forgot all about it until I was watching this video back. Amazing places. I love these sort of places. You just walk around and then just something pops out. You wouldn't expect it to be there. Another tractor seat. Is it a tractor seat? Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Even I think it seems like five minutes there. ago that vintage. that well, you could buy them in the shops, but now that is classed as a, a, a vintage item or getting towards a vintage item. Ghetto blasters. There we go. There's my album. And there's Willow in front of the sweet stand. So there we go. We had a great day out. I thoroughly recommend you go in, take the family along, get some food while you're down there. It's just near the train station in Ilkeston. Dead easy to find. But make sure you set yourself a budget. It's easy to go over the top. I tell you, there's something for everybody in there. And I guarantee you'll love it. So that's about it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers. See you next time on Weekend Shedhead.